East Africa Bank has opened its headquarters in Djibouti. The bank says this gives it leverage in spreading its wings across the east of Africa. Faisal Ahmed is in Djibouti and tells us more. With its launch in Djibouti, the lender says it is positioning for a slice of the growing Sharia-compliant financial services in the Horn of Africa. We also cannot look at uh, the growth of Djibouti without mentioning the growth of Ethiopia. We will uh, continue supporting businesses uh, in Ethiopia, uh, I mean customers in Djibouti trading in Ethiopia, and, and that's a very, very important part of uh, the growth of the bank in the next five years. The lender adding that Djibouti is strategically located for it to harness business courtesy of its port operations and also banking on Ethiopia's growing market for both corporate and individual services. Uh, the bank has uh, uh, eight branches currently, uh, customer base of uh, 12,000 with about 90% uh, of that being retail. Uh, we are looking to grow those numbers. The Habshil has a global presence all the way from the United States to Australia, and we would like to increase our fina offering financial access to unbanking communities, whether it's a remittance, whether it's offering a finance, whether it's a mobile payment. Previously known as the Habshil International Bank, the East Africa Bank is also banking on the enabling legal and regulatory environment being developed in the country to spread its wings. With its establishment here in Djibouti, the bank not only seeks to expand its Sharia compliant banking in this country, but also the rest of East Africa. Faisal Ahmed, Citizen TV, Djibouti.